Hey there YouTubers, a uh, quick video for you about a mini golf outing I had with uh, my sister and her kids. Um, so they came to visit and uh, we thought, hey, you know, it'd be a good idea to go mini golfing because they, they really, really love it, the kids. Um, so we looked at a bunch of places online uh, in the area and uh, my sister found one that, that specifically said that it was handicapped accessible, wheelchair accessible, actually. Um, and uh, so we went there, and at first everything seemed great. It like the, there were cutouts of on the sides of the um, not the greens, the fairway, like the the fairways, you know, the little fairways for the holes, so that you could get your wheelchair in and out. And um, it was really, really cool. Um, that was about the first five or six holes. <laughs> and then we got to an area where there were steps and there was um, no way to get around the steps. Uh, and so I, I don't remember exactly because it was a little while ago now, but it was about the first five or six holes were completely accessible. And then there were the steps. And after the steps, there were maybe another um, seven or eight holes. So it ended up being that only the first five or six holes were accessible and only the last like four or so holes were accessible and the rest of them were not wheelchair accessible like at all. Um, and the name of that place was uh, Evie's Miniature Golf uh, in Sarasota, Florida. So I mean if you don't mind only playing a few of the holes, it's it's a great place to go. But if you um, want to play the entire thing, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, um, as I mentioned, we specifically went there because they said they were completely weird wheelchair accessible, and they weren't. So initially, um, we had paid full price for the entire thing. And if you recall, um, the previous a recent mini golf video that I did uh, that was not accessible they the place only charged um, a partial rate because they knew it was not accessible um, this Evie's charges the full rate whether you're doing uh, the whole course or only part of it because of accessibility uh, so we were all pretty upset about that and we went back to the front desk to complain and they had to uh, get in touch with a manager, but they ended up refunding the entire cost of the trip, which was nice of them. But at the same time, um, they they shouldn't say they're wheelchair accessible if they're not, um, because that was misleading and caused us to drive out of our way. And we may have been able to go to a different place that actually was accessible. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Patreon and stay safe out there.